previously on Fred the Farmer. Fred came out fighting. A pack of Cathar extremists saw fit to prey upon a lonesome farmer. Little did they know, however, that the farmer in question was Fred. He made quick work of them with his trusty pitchfork and even used his almost endless supply of stones to break their bones. Later that same day, Fred felt like he needed some money. So what does a homicidal farmer do when he needs money? He pillages, and oh, did he pillage. Fred stopped a nearby caravan and demanded a toll for free passage. They offered 10 florins. This did not go down well with Fred, and he exploded in a mighty fit of rage. Suffice it to say, Fred now has money. Fred needed some timber to construct his new farm, and so needed a contract for permission to cut down some lumber from a nearby forest. Delinardus was the name Fred continued to hear on his travels. Fred waited in town for the lazy oaf Delinardus to finish his business inside. Fred fell asleep. Upon waking up, Fred realized he had missed Delinardus and needed to catch up to him. They spoke for a few minutes. It seemed like hours for Delinardus as Fred continued talking to himself about how shiny Delinardus' armor was and how much he loathed the lords of the realm. Fred acquired the contract and set off to the forest. He arrived in the forest and began work immediately. The lumber was ripe for the taking, and especially so when the first log had been sawn into neat little pieces. Fred began hallucinating that he was cutting log after log after log, and soon his bag was full of the timber he needed. He searched for an appropriate location for his new farm and found something suitable in the grasslands between multiple factions. He secretly hoped a few lords would happen by just so he could show them his newfound powers. He needed seeds to plant, so Fred set off in search of some. And now for the thrilling second installment in Fred the Farmer. Oh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here, but I, I think I need some seeds, don't I? Oh yeah, I need some seeds. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, the voices in my head have told me that everything is going pretty well, actually. And uh, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to partake in a little bit of, um, you know, training. So I'm going to go after this to a person that can train me. So I'm going to go into the tavern real quick because, you know, that's... That's exactly where I need to go to get training from. Uh, let me see if I can find the person. Oh, there we go. Tavern Keeper. He's the guy that can train us in everything we need to know about, you know, all the stuff. You know, what's what's the stuff that I'm talking about now? Uh, all my skills and things like that. So if we go into... Oh, there we go. Okay, so he's going to let me know what I should really be specking into now i need to be a little bit careful here because i'm not entirely sure what i need obviously i do have a pretty good amount of um what is it now trade yeah trade is good and um my craftsmanship is also good because you know obviously i'm a farmer you know fred the farmer is extremely good at everything including murder uh, I, I mean um not murder because uh, that's that's bad that's a bad thing to do so uh yeah instead i think don't we need oh uh, yeah i need to run faster don't i so i'm going to go for a lot in uh, in um, what is it now training in athletics there we go that's what we like to see and um oh where else do i want to take that's the thing i don't actually know so this is a bit of a a quandary for me what, what's a quandary is that like where you mine stone from yeah it's where you mine stone from isn't it yeah i think so oh um sh oh yeah we should probably get some prisoner management as well wait a minute oh it only increases it by five i don't know where i'm reading this on the manual i guess fred the farmer which is me you know comes with a manual obviously an installation manual okay so otherwise i, I think i'm gonna just go for some power strike and iron flesh i guess i mean i don't really need it i guess because i'm just so incredibly powerful right i mean you know that's that's just how i roll it's just you know that's just how it is anyway let's have a look here I should probably get some first aid, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should probably get some first aid because there's a very good. Um, what is it now? I think I can. I think I can 
bandage myself in uh, in combat, can't I? Yeah, I think I can bandage myself, and that obviously makes a bit of a difference. So, considering I'm going to level up pretty fast, I guess. Level up, I, I don't know what that means, but I guess, you know, have many more birthdays, because now technically I'm 12 years old, as you can see here, level 12. So, yeah, I'm going to go for something like that. Okay, so I don't actually know what to go for here. I mean, as you can see, I already, already have a good amount of proficiency and uh, I don't even know what proficiency means I guess, I guess I'm just really good at using my pitchfork and I've had a lot of experience dealing with throwing stones at people and everything because that's the only way I could get my own back on all of the idiots in the world so I just had to throw stones and then run away thank you very much Tavern Keeper I don't know what your name is uh, it must be Tavern Keeper well thank you very much Mr Keeper I'm gonna go and um, you know do my own thing now so wait a minute I need to find hello I are, are you are you do you want to join me do you want to join hello there laddie have a drink on me well I don't really want to drink anything on you that that's probably not the best idea because you're gonna be all wet then aren't you what's the occasion Oh, you're, oh, you're having a very good time of things by the looks of things. That's very nice of you, isn't it? Oh, it's very good. It's very good for you. Oh, for 30 years. Oh, you don't look, you don't look like you're 30 or above. You, you look like you're 20 uh, something. Well, never mind. What will you do now? Uh, do you want to join me? Do you want to join me in, you know, oh, oh, what's this? Oh, oh my, oh, she, oh, okay, so she's a mother, she's a mother, isn't she? Yeah, she's a mother, oh, that's, that's, isn't that good? Yeah. Oh, no, oh, they both died, oh, that's not very good. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll just hire you then, because you have a bit of a grudge against a lot of people, so I, I guess that's a good idea, because I have a grudge myself. So that would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. All right, so uh, what are we going to do here? Well, 805? Oh, my. That's very cheap, isn't it? I guess I'm going to take some of these mercenaries as well because I like the Pikaman. I like the Pikaman. They're pretty good. I think they're, they're going to come in mighty handy for us. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Now, um, oh, I, did I have enough money to buy a property, actually? Oh, no, that's not very good. Okay, well, I'm going to go over to P. Raven because, um, you know, the, oh, hello. It seems like there's a bunch of people following me. Uh, do they even know who Fred the Farmer is? No, it seems like they don't. Well, yes, we are the Free Brothers. Oh, well, I'm only fighting for myself. Do you want to join me? No, I don't have that option apparently, because apparently there's only two options for me, which is a bit of a shame really, because uh, I would have liked to have, you know, offered them a place in my army. I think that would have been pretty cool, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so I have my trusty cow, and um, yeah, the voices in my head have actually been suggesting a number of rather wonderful names. And uh, I still, I can't really, oh, I don't really know, to be honest, about what I should really call it. I, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a girl, I guess. I, I don't actually know, but yes, I, I think it would be really cool to name it something. I, I actually kind of had a bit of a fancying for Glitterhoof. I think Glitterhoof is actually a pretty good name, but uh, there's it's just so many. And I can't remember them all, because the voices, they just... Oh, they're just always just saying everything under the sun. And wh where is the sun? Because under it, I mean, we're under it right now. So where's all the names? I can't see the names. Oh, no, uh, that might be a little bit too esoteric a joke for people. Oh, no, that's not good. Well, anyway, I have a bunch of mercenary Pikamen here. And we also have Lorena. So let's see if we can do a little bit of damage. Oh, hello. Oh, hello there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a little bit of damage at, at the very least. Let's get off it. Oh, 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 I'm dying a bit. Oh, I am dying a bit. Oh, I need to be a little bit careful here, don't I? Yeah, I can still die, even though I have been imbued with very, very strong things, thanks to, you know, the eagle. But yes, even though I have been imbued in, in you know, massive amounts of power, you know, even though that has happened, Things can still go wrong, as you can see. Things can still go wrong, so I can't take on many armies by myself. So that's why I've 
recruited a bunch of friends here and I don't know whether they really are friends. Are you my friend? Mercenary Pikaman? Well, it seems like my only friend is the cow, really. As you can see, the cow's going in a bit of circles there. <laughs> so that's, uh, yes. I guess that's good, isn't it? I guess that's good for it to go around in circles. Not really. Not really, actually. Anyway, it seems like we're doing a good job. Oh, look at that. 17 Renown. I don't know what that does, but hopefully it's good. I could take these people prisoner, actually, because I do have some prisoner management now. So... Do I want to do that? Oh, I don't really care to be honest because I do have a lot of money already. So maybe me taking prisoner management was a mistake. Well, the tavern keeper, Mr. Tavern Keeper, didn't say anything to me about it. So I was a bit, oh, I don't know. I was a bit worried about it, really. Oh, well, never mind. I guess I'm just going to take this. And I could actually give this to my new companion, really. What is she wearing? Uh, uh, don't mind me, uh, lady. Uh, well, you're calling me laddie, so I suppose I should call you lady, right? Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I'm going to be giving this to uh, to her. There we go. That's nice. And uh, oh, I have a helmet as well for her. Oh, that's amazing. I'm actually really surprised that we had something for her right here. So yeah, yeah there you go. That's nice. That's very nice. I also have a bunch of extra loot from that uh, caravan that we, shall we say, um, liberated of their of their goods. You know, we liberated their goods from them, which is always nice. Anyway, I'm going to go to P Raven and uh, see if I can get a couple more seeds because we do need the seeds, and it's taken us a bit of time to get here. So let's have a look. How many do I have? One, two. Three, oh no, counting is too difficult for me. I'm just going to leave it, really. I, I have, like, I don't know, 10,000 or, or something of them. Thank you very much. Oh, I could sell these things, though. Yeah, I could sell these. Let's do that, actually, because that's going to give me a good amount of money. There we go. A letter of indulgence. I still don't know what to do with this. I suppose I could probably camp... You know, and around the campfire I could get someone to read it for me, or something along those lines. Well, anyway, I think it's a good idea if we go into... Oh, my. This is a very fancy establishment, isn't it? Well, I'm a bit worried about going into the fancy establishments, to be honest, because they're just very fancy, and I'm not very fancy myself. Hello, Crusader Merchant. Oh, it seems like you don't have anything for me, because I haven't fulfilled the criteria, whatever that may be. Oh, hello, Marnus. I don't know what your name is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some, some Watchmen. Thank you, Watchmen. And, uh, oh, oh, it's Miss, oh, it's Miss, Mrs. or Miss, Miss Tavern Keeper. I don't know what she's missing. What is she missing? Is she missing the Tavern Keeper, Mr. Tavern Keeper from, from Sunos or whatever it's called? There we go. Oh, a cup of, a cup with me. Ah, uh, what? A cup of what? A cup of what? Oh, oh, I see. I'm down to my last five florins, and I'd rather not drink alone. It's a tragic tale. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't really care for your tragic tale, unfortunately. So, um, would you like to join me, perhaps? I'm a fast learner, and I can ride, and maybe, oh, no. Oh, he knows a fair bit about trade. Well, I do as well. I have a lot of trade, so... You're kind of a bit uh, redundant, are you? I'm, I'm making you redundant, Marnus. Oh, he's not very happy with me now. No, he's not very happy. Uh, maybe I should buy some property. Should I do that? I have 16,000 at the moment. Oh no, I went into the wrong place. No, this is the Guildmaster. I can't really go in there just yet. I'm going to manage some property. Let's go and buy something, shall we? So, um, oh my... Yes, this is oh, this is not good, is it? I guess I'll buy a I'll buy a labourer house. That will get me a little bit of prestige, and um, I can also rent it out for a little bit. So I suppose that's okay. I don't want to throw out the tenants. That's a mean thing to do, isn't it? Not unless they're destroying it, of course. So yeah, that's fine. All right. So I th I suppose we should probably go over to Tears or to to do you do do him whatever that's called. I suppose. Oh. There we go. Good then. You've entered the class of labourers. Oh, I thought I, al I was already a labourer. I mean, we are technically, you know, 
wandering around and the, you know the voices are joining me and it's all fantastic I love it oh sh should I should I raid a caravan again oh, I don't know really oh, I don't think I should just yet let's go to Durham and we'll see if anything's going on there I'd like to oh there's a peace agreement uh, I don't know what that means the politics of this land are a little bit too complex for me thank you very much oh it seems oh it seems like some cat heart extremists are attempting to attack me. Oh, well, I, I don't think I would say anything of this. Uh, we are followers... Oh, there, oh, we are followers of... Oh, oh, there we go. Followers of Christianity. Oh, thank you. May the Lord of the Old and New Testament be with you. Oh, well, yeah, I, I don't really know whether I should be saying that. Oh, there we go. Lord of the Old Testament? But don't you know that's Satan? Oh, really? Well, oh my goodness. Oh, I don't think I would have said oh my goodness because I'm I'm Fred. So, well, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, well, never mind. I guess I do have to deal with these people. I mean, they really don't like me at all, do they? Cat hars. Yeah. Where are all the dog hars? I don't know where the dog hars are, but here, this, here's the cat hars. I mean, they have cat ears, don't they? Look at the, look at their cat ears that they have on right here. So it's 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 actually okay because we've got our cow here, and our cow is is pretty powerful. But obviously, they're blocking it a little bit here as well. We need to be a little bit careful because, as you know, we can take a little bit of damage. So, you know, I need to make sure that everything's going swimmingly. Although I could just run them down with my with my cow, as you can see. The cow does a lot of damage. Oh yeah, it does. I mean it's ravenous. I mean just look at it, it's ravenous. It it's just be it's also tired of being pushed around all its life, you know. It's it's had to, you know, give milk and you know, eggs and all that sort of thing. Cause, you know, cows give eggs, don't they? Yeah, they do. That's exactly the reason why they're called eggs, because, you, you know, cows and eggs have the same letters, you know, they have the same amount of letters in their name, that's the main reason. But anyway, point is, I think we're good, aren't we? Yeah, I didn't really have to do much. Oh, maybe I should get involved here. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of damage, a little bit of damage there. Oh, nice, nice. Give me some more. Yes, thank you very much. I think I might need to have a visit to Mr. Tavern Keeper again. It seems like I've gained a little bit of knowledge or, or cane, cane knowledge. Yes, cane knowledge is how you really say it. You know, I mean, the, the, the K does not want to be silent, does it? No, it doesn't want to be silent. It wants to be heard, just like everyone. You know, everyone wants to be heard. Anyway, I guess I'll just, I don't know, I guess I'll just release them. I don't really care for them too much. going to Gonna take that manhunter, cause we want to hunt some men, don't we? Yeah, we want to hunt some men. All right, so yeah, let's go to Durham. Let's go to Durham and the the Vegiers. The Vegiers? Is that is that what they're called? The Vegiers to Sardom. Okay, that seems to be their name. All right. Well, we haven't really, you know, come across them yet. Voices, have we? So. I guess I'm going to have to be a little bit more polite than I am with the Swadians, because I don't really like them too much. I should really call them the Swadians, to be honest, just to disrespect them a little bit. Okay, so do you have any seeds? Oh, you have one seed pouch. Well, that's not very nice, is it? So how many do I have now? I have, what is it now, eight, I think, 89, 89. I've got 89 of them. There we go. That's good absolutely fine with me i do need 10 i think don't i don't i need 10 yeah i think so oh my look at that halmar is actually under siege oh oh wait that's that's good i guess it's good for them good for them to be under siege steven seagal you know i mean I, i'm a i'm a pretty big fan of steven seagal he can karate chop people and you know do a lot of damage he's not very good with a pitchfork though or is he I don't know really. I haven't spoken to him for many years. So yeah, he left Calradia many years ago. So anyway, let's go into Ravidin and see if I can actually, you know, get... Oh, hello. Oh, why, why am I in here? Uh, am I in here for a reason? Hello, Tournament Master. Hello. Oh, they, they held tournaments here? Really? Oh, okay. I'd like to join. I'd like to join and do a little bit of, little bit of fight. Oh my... 
look at my look at my wonderful sculpted body wow i'm i'm very impressed with myself can you tell can you tell i'm impressed with myself yeah i think you can oh yes well let's see if i oh no this is not good i'm gonna get shot to smithereens smithereens is oblivion it's the other elder scrolls game yeah I don't really know about any of that, so I'm just going off by what I've heard from from various people in taverns and things like that. But yeah, let's just try it. Oh no, I'm not doing very well here. Not doing very. There we go. That's what we like to see. Oh yes, and maybe it maybe a little bit more, a little bit more. I don't really care too much about winning this or not. I'm just having a little bit of fun. I'm just embarrassing the various people here because these guys, they're professional fighters and I'm just a farmer, you know? I'm just a farmer, so technically, I don't know what technically means, but I've heard it used by many other people, so I'm just gonna use it myself. And, you know, technically, it's just, you know, one of those things where you gotta just make the best of it. I'm gonna try and kill 10, you know, which is nine plus one. Oh no, I failed. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm at his feet. My face is in the dirt. It's not very nice. No, it's not very nice. Is there a tournament nearby? Oh, in Durham. Oh, look at that. I could go to Durham and get something done there. All right. Okay. I think I'm probably going to do that relatively soon. So, uh, yeah, let's just have a look and see if I can get those seeds. Yes, there we go. I think I have 10 now. So I'm probably going to head back to my farm. Where is it? There we go, there's my farm. That's what we like. Okay, so let's go over there and we're gonna plant our seeds. Oh, I'm very excited. It's been a long time since I've actually, you know, done anything with some seeds. So yeah, I mean, ever since I, you know, sowed me oats, you know, me oats were, were sown many, many years ago. That's a bit of an adult joke. I don't know whether you'll get that, but yes, hopefully you will. Anyway, let's uh, let's speak to Mr. Workbench. Hello, Mr. Workbench. Plant the seeds in field one. There we go. Yes, field one. Okay, so is that it? Is this field one? I do have a farming sickle. Is this is this the thing? Yeah, I think that's it. I think that is it. I can actually start harvesting any time now, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have my sickle equipped there it is there's my farming sickle so that's that's pretty good that is pretty good we still need to find out what to do with that letter of indulgence but i don't really mind